plenty of plants growing on our dirt piles here. This guy in particular has decided he stand for the, the long haul. <laughs> Look at that, a tree. vertical rebar so we can continue it up the wall when we do our second pour. <clears throat> it should line up with the dowels at our bottom. Look and they zip tied all together nice. These guys have duct tape over the teeth so that we can pour into the core and uh, take the duct tape off and then we'll have a clean surface to attach our second course to. You can see that the vertical rebar ends up on either side of that. Well, it's supposed to. <laughs> well, actually, if you go down the course, you can see the vertical rebar ends up on either side of the horizontal rebar to hold it in place. This is their bracing system. It just goes into a pin in the ground and then up to a strong back against the wall. And then they can turn this little turnbuckle here and push the wall in and out of plumb. <clears throat> they do most of the straightening, they said, after uh, after the concrete's poured, because it's a little easier to adjust. Every jog in the wall has a vertical seam, and you can see that they've even gone through and taken the time to spray foam the gap, and then tightened it all up with some 2x4 strapping. So that's where they cut the block. Got a piping penetration about 16 feet off the back wall, and this one will be used for our gas line because our meter is on the farther right side of the house and our generator is going to be on the far left side so we're going to have a polyethylene line running under the house to supply that with gas. All the plumbing penetrations are in. Here's the other side of the gas pipe and a little further down we got our sewer. Hey, uh, did one of you bring me the glue gun? Meet me halfway. Not quite lined up with <laughs> where I dug the trench, but we want to make sure we're underneath the central wall that runs down the center of the house. <clears throat> a little bit of an angle going back to the city sewer there. We only used two pieces. We bought six pieces, so we can return four of them. There goes my beautiful drawing room. Dressed and ready for concrete work. No sneakers and yoga pants. Not really. She's gonna be our professional hole washer. Nope. Oh. 
Fox Blocks distributor is here. Run up Fox Blocks driver. So just a little bit of background on how we chose our ICF distributor uh, and kind of the process and questions that went into that. So originally we were planning on using Nodura as our distributor, but uh, with the crazy COVID prices, they had a big price jump that made it not feasible to do that. Uh, so we had to switch all of our drawings over to Fox Blocks. And kind of the reason we chose Fox Blocks was there was a local distributor that had uh, quite a few blocks already on hand. Uh, we'd worked with him before. And he also had a relationship with this contractor uh, that had some availability to come in and do our house with those blocks in their inventory. Um, so they had enough to do the first four or five courses, uh, which just gets us to the point where we can put in our uh, concrete slab and then they'll come back and do the rest when the uh, rest of the Fox blocks ship. So right now we're looking at about a five month lead time or it's not five month, <laughs> five week lead time. Uh, but we didn't want to hold off on doing any of the blocks um, kind of being independent, having to order them, wait for those to show up, get the first four or five courses in to be able to pour the slab. Uh, this way we can be doing that simultaneously while we're waiting out the five week lead time. Uh, they use the giraffe bracing system. Those are the uh, yellow braces that you see around. And they had a lot of expertise concerning um, some questions that we had about the build as far as, uh, for example, we had mixed like four inch and six inch box blocks uh, based on whether it was like an interior wall or the exterior walls, they had to standardize us all of those to the four inch core, um, cause that's more standard. Uh, they're also able to do the uh, interior walls as well as the metal decking above the storm room that we're gonna have in our master closet. Uh, so after this first pour, we'll work on our own to make sure that we get the slab in, the under slab plumbing, uh, radiant heating, um, and then they'll come back to do the second pour. Uh, so we're looking forward to working with them. As always, thank you for watching our video. And if you want to see more from us, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're always open to comments. Or if you want to shoot us an email at valiant effort FAQ at gmail, we'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks.